In today's video, I'm going to show you how I did in the Rune Terra Open. This tournament is more or less the replacement of seasonals and you need to play nine best of threes over the course of 40 hours. And if you lose three times, you're out of the tournament. So before we begin, it needs to be said that there are a lot of improvements to be made with the format. There's no skill based matchmaking. So that means if you queue up when you already have seven wins, it's entirely possible that you match up with somebody who just got their second win. And because this tournament is open to anyone, that means Means there's a lot of difference in skill level. This is also a closed deck list format, which means that I can't see the cards my opponent is playing and they can't see what cards I'm playing, which is totally fine by me because I play meme decks all the time. But there's something to be said about that from a competitive standpoint. But once those flaws are all worked out of the system and the developers have said that they are working on it, the Rune Terra Open is guaranteed to hype up competitive Rune Terra even more. So I brought three decks and two of them were meta staples, and the third one was puff caps. I brought Fearsome's, Leona Kill, and puff caps, and all those decks are perfect into Rise, but they're also powerful enough to take on some of the other meta decks like Nora decks and even some El Aoi decks. I only included the highlights in this video because, again, the player skill level was just all over the place. But if you want to see the full run, I will have a link below with my full run with all best of threes included. So let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments how you did in your Rune Terra Open and happy high rolling. I don't know. Might have been wrong. God, what are you? I'm like, I was literally saying like, oh, I can just keep Leona because surely we, we draw something after our one, two, three to be okay. And then this is the hand. Huh? Bruh. Is this just some iteration on Red Daybreak or does no deck no longer run Katarina? No, Katarina's cut. Kill's just better at five mana. Like kill hard carried games. It, it's ridiculous. Right now, yeah, we have two copies. We have to. There are two HP. So we just don't die next turn and we're happy. Yeah, this should be GG every time. Even if they attack now, we can just block down. Oh. This creates fearsome blockers. 8 5. I mean, it's an aggressive deck, but it has like a really good mid range game plan too because of Leona and Ravoon. I, I love this deck. This is one of, uh, one of the cooler decks that I've used to hit Master for sure. I'm kind of scared it's Nocturne. If we pass here, what happens? Yeah. Kill was good too. We're just trying to do the bare minimum next turn. To win. Like, I'm not even blocking with Leona. Because we just wanna. Oh, they're all fearsome now, right? Okay, we are blocked with Leona. I will protect you. Ever vigilant. Leona goes to three. This should be fine. It's gonna look like a weird pull, but we have might. So I just wanna pull the weakest unit. You go five with Trabiagra? Oh, not bad. All right, game one down. Nice. Got him. <laughs> Why did we bring puff caps, dude? Why did we bring puff caps? I don't know, man. Threw the line up together like it was nothing. I was expecting a fair amount of field rush, though. Uh, there's two mites. So the reason I run might over something else is... Um, uh, the reason we run might is because of the rat deck. The rat swarm. 
And the easiest way to overcome that is to just go Overwhelm or the Weapon Master to get the Overwhelm weapon. So you can kill their minion with one health and get lethal with kill that way. They could have read that play, challenging two was hella sus. But what could they have done about it though? The only, like they have nothing that deals three damage, except maybe Fervor, and I'm pretty sure they don't run that. It doesn't really matter how we challenge because we were already setting up lethal with, with our wide attack. They have another one of these, otherwise they wouldn't play this. Okay, uh, I made a small mistake here. It was actually incorrect to wait with the Poke Stick because they got plus one on Nocturne that I gave to them. And that's not correct. That's not good. Uh, we, we have to shoot that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So this denies the Nocturne level up. They have one card, well, two cards. Let's investigate. This looks like a win, does it? I don't know, man. Like a bit rough to me. Callista levels here. Brings back the Miss Wraith. How many? There are four flag bombs. We can Karina. Like, this doesn't kill us, so. Damn it. When I'm in the trap until level team, I'm not comfortable just spending two mana to do almost nothing. If this is all, then we can lift that. We can block eight damage by just blocking the Callista with Kate. This, the fact we pranked this was actually huge, by the way. Oh my god. Turning yourself in. Oh, mushrooms. Nah, the Callista isn't the problem. Not yet. Um, yeah, if they had a Wraith Caller, they would have used it, so, yeah. They grow up yeah. So okay, so, this turn we're gonna attack with Teemo, and then Karina, and pray that it's enough to kill them over two turns. Eh, sure. Well, they're not dead, but we're not dying either. <laughs> Bruh! Mini morph Timo so we can block fear. So, oh, if we were about to die, that's a pretty sweet play. You're right. Ah, we're good. Right, <laughs> Win number one. Let's go. <laughs> Where did it is ten mana go? 
a satisfactory yeah. outcome. The thing is, it would have resummoned Nocturne and nothing would have been able to block. We were dead. Yeah, we can't ban Rise. There's no way. Our lineups are supposed to do well against it. Yordles? Yeah, Yordles has to be a better ban because they have removal. Nothing else has removal. I think they're going to start with Leona kill. So if they win this, then that's fine. So I would run. Okay, we, we have to win this. I don't want to be left with fearsomes against their lineup. Uh, this is actually we, we just go for the for the engines, right? Yeah. Even Teemo. What do they have to remove Teemo? Do they have something that removes Teemo? Okay. Oh, the rise landmark. You're right, actually. Wait, I'm stupid. Of course, it's a big one. Huh. Yeah, the landmark. I completely forgot about that. It's weird, right? We climbed to master and we played against rise decks literally once. How does that make sense? We played against... Was it even one? It might even been before we took the climb series. So weird. Found one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even surprised, Chad. I'm gonna be honest here. Uh... Wondering if that's correct. This is a good card, though. I fight with my spirits, not my fists. Snooey, please. What's up? The spirit gives to those who listen. When they start making delves and trapping, yeah. Once we get them trapping. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Their hands. It's not bad, though. There's Rise. Man will always fight and always die. All right, Rise, you sussy bucka. Since it's turn six and it only have one of these, I don't know. That feels pretty good. So this is the pop-off turn with Peddler. And next turn, Ava? Ava doesn't feel that good without an activator though. Like we want to play Ava and right after we want to insider knowledge if possible. They have another one, it will kill the Caitlyn. Oh, cool. Yes, draw, draw. Wait, actually, they grow up so fast. Okay, we'll, we'll kill your, we'll kill your girly here. Why not face? Because this will heal for two. Twenty nine puff caps. Here we go. Now, I'm going to be a little upset if they like somehow get there because they have exactly enough mana for it. Right? Yeah. They if they have three delves, it's actually over. How could they? Bye. My name is Rise. I am the Rune Mage. Please, please, kind opponent. 
Don't high roll me too hard. What's his name? His name is Rice. He is the rune mage. Yeah, we can destroy one. You're right. We do have the aftershock. Yeah, that probably means they don't have it. It's chat. It's so dumb, man. Because listen, when I play League, I love playing Ezreal. And I love playing Rise. I mean, I've always loved Rise, but Ezreal's been a champion. I'm like, sometimes I just don't play him that much, and sometimes I play him all the time. <laughs> Bomba! <laughs> Plus a 27, huh? Oh my god. Are you sure about that? Oh, he found one. Well, there it is. Oh my god. How much room is that? Plus 27. Well done. Good work. Let's go. Let's go. You wait, why wouldn't he attack? Oh, uh, because they draw? Yeah, okay. Now he will understand. This cannot stand. That's funny, dude. All right, <laughs> my opponent just gave up. <laughs> oh, entrapment! What a funny card. God damn. Uh, and well, we uh, we still got fearsomes against the rise too, so. Yeah, this matchup less good probably. Uh oh this this is a good hand though. This is Yeah, I like this hand. I I I think I should have kicked this one maybe. Where's my axe? I'll do better this time. I mean they still have to win with the rise deck if they wanna go all the way, so it's not like they have a choice really. They could play the 3-2. Or that. This is a this is a bad match for us, but it's not unwinnable. There are ways. Oh, that's a good draw. can't block, so it's not like that does anything. Oh, this is a resource in his deck? Yeah, you're not wrong. Hello? My game froze? This happened yesterday too, my game froze again. Dude, are you serious? <laughs> what the hell? My game froze. Oh, we're back. Uh... Next one has to be frenzied. Uh, Leona leveled is kind of bad for us, though, right? Definitely not good. Huh? Why would they... We shall pierce their treasonous arts! That's strange. It's kind of a big attack. We got two blockers. We block four, eight. We get to deal 11 damage. This has to be better. Damn, having so many Nightfalls is, uh, kind of awkward. Okay, we'll just play this. 
something gets stunned there. I mean, it's a non-fearsome that gets stunned. Can develop against Leona? Did I get one stun? We had two units to play. Sonny, do you have a dick of Bay? Y'all. You Take her. Have excellent Mine is a I am getting taste. crazy here. Seventh month in a row. Keep going making the best stuff we can get in Rune Terra. Matza, thank you for the seven months. He doesn't know how to use his turn signal. Me? I. Hmm. You're pulling the stunned unit. So, the one awkward thing here is that Nocturne isn't leveled. Because we could be reducing their entire board to like zero attack. I think pulling Callisto was right, playing our mission shenanigans. Well, uh, that's worst case scenario. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah, that's bad. Uh, that's not good. All right, so we can't even play this one because you know it'll miss again. Oh my god, dude, that's horrible. That's really bad. Oh man, really? I think we're dead now. Yeah, this is a game three-er. Um, I mean, I I, I could have done better there, right? I, I think I could have. Um, oh, I'll block this one. Bro, come on! We only have to block this one. Okay, so now we have to play this or we die. Oh, this is over on already. Ah, we're just dead dead. Oops. Holy fire! Burn away the darkness! You missed Le uh, dude, were you not here like a minute ago? We used Soul Cleave on this and missed the Legions. It, it was a worst case scenario. They are damned. Yeah, I mean, we're dead. All right. I mean, when the first one misses on the same turn, chat, the second one always misses too because the card on top of my deck is still the Noxus card. <laughs> I had to play it because, I mean, maybe there was a way I wasn't dead, but of course, I was always dead. No way, he missed the Legions twice in the same turn, huh? <laughs> The thing, the, the thing that was bad was the fact that Nocturne wasn't level. So even if we did hit the, uh, the Allegiance, it still have plenty of blockers, right? Well, next time level them earlier, I'll try. I'll do my best. But only because you asked me through. Is Fearsome to rise a positive matchup? Yep. It is. We shall sing, dance, and forget our woes. It's like half the reason to even play this. Please, make yourself rise at home. They can play their three, too. It's the only uh, reliable, fearsome blocker they have. I I'm pretty sure we only run two of the Noxus cards. So it's not even like we run three non-SI, we run two. The odds of missing were, were not high, chat. They were pretty high. That's, that's a high roll. This is actually an insane card to get. Is this game just over? 
This game might actually just be over, chat. Yeah, that ain't it. That ain't the one. Uh, you get in there too. So, are you dead? Hehehe, <laughs> what? Yeah, we curved out like crazy. The fact we drew one drop to activate the, this plus have another one drop. This is why you don't take Rise. <laughs> look at look at these mastery points. Nah, little man played like two Rise decks, two Rise games. Like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready for Rune Terra open. <laughs> God damn. Power changes everyone. Shrouds the world in darkness. You got this, Rise. I believe in you. That'll do it. He'll surely turn this around. Surely, yeah. Only four more world runes to go. I feared his deck, you should. Alright. You got this, Rise. I believe in you. I mean, it's just funny, right? You see a Rise deck sitting there, you click on it, 180 mastery points. Nah, that ain't it. That's too bad. Caitlyn is good against both of these decks, so we'll just play with this first. Caitlyn Teemo should be able to beat them. Okay. I don't think we... Do we want to? What if we just kick that? I mean, honestly, like, Shampo is, is good too, even. Let's go. Alright, I'll, I'll try this out. I'm, uh... I'm not sure about this matchup, but let's let's just see how that works. Yeah, triple one drop. Ooh. Start being labels working for ladies' community. Hope you're memeing, I mean winning, like a champ. Hey, well... It's all good, it's all good. Good to have you here. Pure beat down, yeah. Yeah, just the way I like it. How about that? And we got the orb. Yeah, we're just big chilling now. So we... We Sunhawk? Into this? Big golden ball. My favorite. Yeah, that's that's a good start. But that's fine. This is the card I was afraid of. I could have argued to uh ping. Yeah, I shouldn't have pinged this. That was actually wrong. Because this was always gonna get blocked by this, and they would always block the 2-3 with the two the three three? Yeah, this, this was a wrong ping. Hi, Sonny. Who happened with you? Who's from Germany? Hello, Crestfallen. I'm doing all right. How are you? Is this deck working or is this a meme? This one. I just hit Master with this deck. But yeah, I'd say it's pretty good. Who are you climbing with? Uh, we're playing the Gauntlet. Bless the people and see the Why every time? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What? How are they so good? That's a joke though, actually, right? That is a joke. That That's unbelievable. I am so sick of portals. It's actually not okay. It's me and into Mariah Warden to get my blockers. Not today. What? Nah, that's, that's insane, man. That's ridiculous. That can't be right. Vengeance, all right. 
Dude, that's... Uh, I, I don't get it. I just don't. Alright, well, game's over now, because of one portal. The, the fact we can't push that damage through is, is brutal. miserable uh, portals i don't know man i don't know the fact we lose a game to one portal like it's just junk contra getting a good block into that it's it, it does not compute to me it's so ridiculous it, it, the first game we lost to nora it was a minion just giving them infinite blockers for that entire game and now it's a mariah ward and getting two blockers for one so even if we like had something good it wouldn't even have mattered that much god man god damn Yeah, never, never bet points on me if I'm against Nora. They will high roll me every single time. Guaranteed. The spirit gives to those who listen. Okay, ready. But, like the thing is, I I don't want Nora decks that are like actually about playing Nora to get nerfed. That would feel bad. But I I feel like playing Nora in a control deck should get looked at. Alright, well, uh, I'm telling you guys right now, that's a pretty good start. Uh, it was like 600? About 600. Unyielding light. Well, this is not good. Keep this one around because it's uh, it can take the damage from this. You lack subtlety. They could onboard his soul here. Does not pity winter. They probably are, I guess. Ready yourself. You act, but do not see. Well, that's a lot worse than last time. Maybe they don't have another Dell. Daylight, everlasting. Eh, that's not. I taste purple. Oh, I messed that up. I should have done that first. They had all their uh, their lifestyle units though, so it might be a little bit rough. We don't have Leona or Kale. So they're probably gonna burst out the 3 2 here with something. That's not good. <laughs> they have double rise. At least they can play a rune. But if they play like a delf, they can activate flow. Yeah. Ours is the one true light. Open attacker doesn't even feel that good. And if they find a rune. That's 
shine like the sun, you must burn like it. I mean, Stalker Swarm is like good for later on, but right now it doesn't really do much for us. We have to win fast. And that's not super easy to do currently. Yeah, three sisters this early is good, but they did also just use this card. So there, there, there's a pretty reasonable chance that they'll have more they can play. I gotta win next turn. Yeah, we can maybe stun Rise if that's the case. We need a Daybreak unit for that though. I cannot linger. I cannot linger. Yeah, I have Leona, but I only have one Solari soldier, so. It is time. I must fight for Rune Terra. Daylight breaks on the battlefield. They need to be damn sure they can win here. Glorious light rains down. They need to replace a unit too if they really no want to. I don't need to stun yet. I only need to stun if they play two world runes. We just save this otherwise. Can Shumpo go face? No, it can't. <laughs> Enough! This cannot stand! We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. Daybreak unit you know, would have been better. The sun's splendor reveals. Is there really a way for them to stop this? Follow the horizon. I don't know, man. If they can stop this, then uh, yeah. The dragon binds us. I guess they can if they're if they're still going. The the Evershade came from uh the one mana focus speed spell that creates a random nightfall unit. And we got that from Ravoon. Yeah, they can recall two units, I guess. If that's the case, we're just dead. Yep. The recalling rise. We get the spell shield back. I mean, that doesn't really work though, because we can just pop the spell shield. And now, because of Ravoon, we get. No, that was a bad play by opponent. So, we don't have Daybreak right now, so we need to play Kale. And then we play Ravoon next turn. Holy fire! Burn away the darkness! If they get a deny, they can do it. I'm a little worried, Chad, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little worried here. If I am to act, we must resolve to learn. The knight does it. And they probably have it. Oh. Wait, we play around the knight with this. Oh my god. Now you will understand. I actually got lucky for once? Wait, oh, they can't do it anymore, right? If this is a Dell. They play it. Oh, they have exactly four. No, they can't win this turn. The darkened fell to madness. 
but the people can be saved. Sunwet. We have to play this. They're not under the nine mana. They get three mana back. Behold the sun's holy light. I had to play this to get two stuns instead of one. <laughs> Suck it! Let's go, dude! Hell yeah! Oh my god, that made me so freaking happy, man. Screw these rice players, man. Let's go! For some reason, that made me happier than just getting to master. Whew. God damn, man. Oh, Ooh, let's go. And we still have one more game to go. Whatever, man, whatever. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ooh. All right, start shuffling, buddy. Start shuffling, watch what happens. If you win this BME mode him to rub with it, I don't know, man. I, I, that's I'm not that guy. If I if I'm BMing, it's it's because I'm playing elusives, all right. These are pretty bad. Yeah, we're waiting until they play Rise, and then we're gonna do Entrapment. Me, miss? Not by a long shot. Think I'm still like a yodel in uniform? Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. We'll just attack with this because uh, if we find a mystic shot or something, we can just try to kill that. Right. It's number two. Guess that gave your prime up. Dells, by the way, just sitting there without even playing Rise. So that's that's not great. You don't love to see that. Now, now. All right, we're gonna play one of these to get even more shrooms. Uh, let's pick a unit then, maybe. Nah, let's pick a spell anyway. You sly dog! You thought I was gonna let you get away with it! Nah! Nah, that's not happening! 62, baby! Suck on that. Yeah, that'll work. That'll do just fine. Alright, start drawing some cards, boy. Five! That's what you like to see! <laughs> Whew, that feels good, man. That feels pretty good. So you cost three. All right. My pretty. <laughs> oh my god! Really? They say. We're completely out of uh, gas, though. So uh, they actually have five. We could actually lose here. Like, make no mistake, Chad. Th this is losable. All right. They they have they they drew all five Dells without playing Rise. 
Keep that in mind. But we have to go for this now. How many do you have? They have one. Okay, we lost. Wait, the game's actually over. Beauty charms while claws take hold. Did we just lose? I can't play Ava, they have a recall. No, I have to do the draw when they play Rise. I have to force them to do it here. If they have a regular stun, it's also over. I actually think we lost. If we play this, they recall it too. And then they play Rise, and then it's over. Chat, I actually think it's over. I've memorized all the Vandal Scout rules. Hey, Vintage Robot, they, they, they could have denied, though. Oh. Okay, we have to do it now, because if they recall Ava, then at least they're drawing two cards, right? Man, at least they're drawing two cards. They have 60. 60 of them. No! No! Are we actually losing, chat? Oh no, we actually lost. Let's go! Screw you, Rice! Let's go! Get it! Let's freaking go! Yes. Go, dude! Hell yeah! Get it! Oh my god! Puff cap supremacy! Let's go! Oh my god! It's not like we have nine wins, but god! Damn it, that feels good. Oh, I'm gonna sleep well tonight, Chad. Oh my god, what a match. Whew. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty easy choice, dude. Okay, this one, the, the fearsome should beat these pretty, pretty cleanly. 3 1 with my acorn evolution decks for. Oh, nice. The puff caps, yeah, the puff caps are getting targeted. I don't know why. I don't know why Lee Sin is in his deck. But I guess we'll find out. Didn't want that one. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Punish transgressions. I don't know, I could see playing Lee Sin as an alternate win con, right? But... Then again, those days are also just kind of like long gone. Are there new cards coming in the near future? In... On March 1st, there are new cards coming. Devotion to battle. I should actually, yeah, uh, that was wrong. I should have pinged the spider because this can get buffed up with the owl. Yeah, at least in levels of 10. Is the March 1st a confirmed date? I, it was confirmed by Rubenzu, but not Hello. officially. Hmm, double tasty. Don't love it. The land. That's one way to get around then. <laughs> Bro, this card. I really hope they they rotate Saboteur and they keep the Pigeon. I really like this card for aggro. Like, aggro is just an archetype. It doesn't have to be awful all the time, right? But this card makes it so interesting. I'll tell Ruby and call him unofficial. I mean, I don't know how long ago it was, but if it's not confirmed by, like, official sources... I also don't know exactly when it was. I, I talked to Marshall about it because he runs the LOR Report Twitter account. Is unrelenting, but not eternal. And he found the source. But it was from a month ago, and we have to realize that the last patch was on February 8th, and it was delayed by a week 
because of the hack. So, 8th to the 1st is 3 weeks, and usually we get these patches every 4 weeks. So the, the timing is just a little weird right now. Feel the sun's glory. <laughs> Minus 13. <laughs> Alright. That was a hack? Yeah. That was a hack for uh, all of Riot Games. A lot of patches got pushed back by a little bit. This is like the best card to have in the deck against us. If they draw this, they're kind of okay. Even Eye of the Dragon doesn't really do it after uh, when we have Fearsome. How sick is this Leona skin? I can't get over it. It looks so good, man. GG. They have to activate flow. But we can just win. Follow the horizon. Uh, I don't think ordering matters, but whatever. Come on, GG. Well, it's game number one. <laughs> And Fearsomes is turbo free into this. I'm pretty sure Fearsomes is even better into them when they run Yi. And I don't know about Nautilus, because Nautilus has like the Deplum Wanderer and uh, Undergrowth and stuff. This should be unfavored. Wait, I can actually look it up. Not. It's a 64% win rate against them. All right. What? No way, deepest fate. I don't. I didn't think it was favored. I just thought they could like put up a fighting chance, but uh, they're running that card. I don't. I don't think they can even do that. This is a good start for them. I didn't want to play this. I feel like it's better to, uh, to combo it. Ooh, okay. Okay, so. We'll just make this the big turn. Double life steal. Wow. Oh, that's not good. Uh oh. Losable. Yeah, that was huge for them. It's far from over now. They have three cards in hand, so unless they get a salvage. The 35% win rate. I mean, I don't think the regular decks run... Um, run stuff like Bone Skewer. Oh, if we drew this. Wait, if we had this, it was actually so insane. Talk about closed deck list. I mean, we have another one. New game for the list. Come in, come in. 
So they block here. If they block here is lethal. Everything is fearsome, right? Everything goes fearsome now. I actually think I buffed the wrong unit though. Yeah, I mean. Eh. Yeah, I buffed the wrong unit. Or do they have a Val Feast? Because in that case, it doesn't really matter. Okay, then it didn't matter. Because I wanted to uh, give something plus attack here. Should still be fine. Really depends on their hand. They're, they're doing well here, though. I gotta admit, like they're uh, they're holding on. It's a high roll. Six away from deep. We don't need to block these spiders. We can leave the spiders alive because <laughs> we're fearsome. We just don't want these to get deep. I'm gonna play Noctar. We want to give them minus attack on the next turn. So this is fine because we have Rizza Mist open next turn, which will make them all go to two attack again. We can let this happen. We can let them swing with these two. Yeah. So we're going for the OTK next turn. I mean, we can also just block it, right? Does it matter? No, we can't block it because then they will go deep. No, we have to take it. Okay, so next turn we play the Rizza Mist. These immediately go to two attack and they can't block anything. And then it's just an OTK. I buffed the wrong unit again because, oh my god, the amount of times I misplay with Harrowing. Alright, plan. GG. You? You're gonna hella top, like he can't, because everything stays fearsome. Like, if they put Vengeance on the stack, they actually need to resolve so they still can't block. Hey, we're 9 0, baby! Let's go! Yo! We didn't drop a single best of three. <laughs> Look at that! 9 0, baby! Alright, let's uh let's see what we got. We got a season batch. We got another season batch. Prime Glory. A title. And that was it. Alright, sick. Look at that. Alright, let's see. Uh, so if we go to our decks now. <laughs> we get bait. <laughs> Alright, cool. Thinking outside the box, Zillion Victor, Time Bomb Printer, One Two Pop, Meta Shifter, Not a Quitter, Fighting for LPP, Snoo.